Hello, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, The Take Your Life Back Today Show. Oh, also, I am an author. Three things to do in the face of disappointment. We all face it. I've faced a lot of it lately. Stepping, stepping up to life setbacks. You didn't get the job you wanted. Somebody you love let you down. Whatever the circumstances, it didn't turn out how you expected, and now you're disappointed. You prayed about it, meditated on scriptures, sought godly counsel, and things still didn't work out for you. You wonder what happened. To ask and you shall receive, it says in the Bible. You're left paralyzed, wondering how to pick up the pieces and make your next move. To say it's painful is an understatement. No matter the magnitude of the disappointment, it is disappointment. If you don't tend to those feelings, it can cause you to spiral in a deep depression and despair. Disappointment is a hard pill to swallow. Nobody likes it, but it's something we all face throughout our lifetime. If you stop and think about it, the Bible is full of disappointment. Disappointed people such as John, Moses, David, Jacob, Hannah, etc. Even Jesus experienced disappointment on many levels during his life. When people didn't heed the good news, when his disciples didn't believe, when he encountered the uh, ritualistic mindset of the Pharisees, to name a few, perhaps his greatest disappointment was when God didn't save him from the cross. Good, th good thing is, is that those biblical characters all overcame disappointment to accomplish their goals and to do great things. We all know Jesus overcame the greatest disappointment for us. We will face disappointment again and again in our lives, but how we respond to it should change over time. We shouldn't go on the emotional roller coaster every time we don't get what we want or what we expected. It should become less about what we desire and more about what God desires for us. As Jesus prayed when he asked God to spare him the suffering he knew he would face on the cross, yet not my will but yours will be done in Luke 22, 42. It's also important to remember that God didn't disappoint you. Life circumstances and people disappointed you. When something bad happens in life, it's not a time to blame God. It's a time to run to God. Since disappointment is something we'll all experience, it's important to be able to respond to it in a positive manner. Here are three healthy ways to deal with disappointment. Number one that I put on my list is mourn, then release your disappointment to God. You experience a loss, so it's natural to mourn. Have a period where you feel sad about the situation, then pick up yourself. It might take time, I promise you that, but you must make a decision to move past the disappointment. Don't run from it. Face it and release it. Pray about it. Being honest with God about how you feel, but don't let disappointment be a shadow over your life. Number two, uh, adjust your expectations. Take a look at your whole situation. There's another side to a disappointment. It can be crippling, but it also can be humbling since it is a way to examine where and in whom we place our hope. Misplaced hope ultimately leads to disappointment. Assessing the disappointment can be a starting point in readjusting our expectations about things that we want in life. It's natural and normal to want things and to want to excel. But uh, issues arise when we begin to believe our happiness is based on achieving that goal or being with that person. What happens when you lose that job you love? What happens? What do you, uh, what do, you do um, when a person walks out of your life? You become de deflated. You become hopeless. Learn to place your hope solely in God's trust. That truly is the most secure place for it. And number three is to get moving. Don't wallow in your disappointment. Wallowing is not productive and can actually be harmful. Get your mind off your uh, circuitousness and get active. Pick up a new hobby, visit friends, or volunteer at an organization that inspires you. Reach beyond yourself and help somebody in need or, some, uh, or help someone achieve their goals. Disappointment can also be a time to renewed resourcefulness. Try something else. Go in a different direction or maybe approach things in a new way. If one dream dies, pick up another one and keep moving forward in life. We will all face disappointment many times in our lives. We were never promised everything we want on an easy uh, life. We will live in a broken world and that is impossible. 
uh, uh, to, to overcome. In fact, Psalms tells us the righteous person may have many troubles. Psalms 34, 19. However, you can rest assured that even though you didn't get what you wanted, God is what you want. And God uh, will never forsake you. Deuteronomy 31, 16. He will still use that disappointment situation for you to turn it into something good. Call me at 844-405-HELP. Together we can help each other take our lives. Be good to yourselves and be good to others. A simple smile can change a person's life and it can change your life too. We all face disappointment. I know I have in the last week. I will get over it, but it's something that I pray about daily. May God bless you. May God bless America. And remember, disappointment is part of the process of living, and God is the answer to that living. Take